Hello, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to read the story Franklin's Neighborhood by Paulette Bourgeois and illustrated by Brenda Clark. Franklin's Neighborhood. Oh, it says that this is written by Sharon Jennings. Franklin could count to ten and back again and say the alphabet without stopping. He liked drawing pictures and he loved show and tell. So when Mr. Owl assigned the first project of the year, Franklin was ready. We live in a neighborhood, explained Mr. Owl, and our neighborhood is made up of houses and stores and gardens, said Snail, and a hospital, added Badger. Exactly, said Mr. Owl. Now for tomorrow, I want each of you to draw a picture of what you like best about our neighborhood. What do you like best, asked Franklin. Mr. Owl thought for a moment. The school, he replied. Everyone laughed. When Franklin got home, he hurried to his room. Do you want a snack, asked his mother. No thanks, said Franklin. I have a project to do. Franklin took out his crayons and some paper, and then he sat down to think. He thought about the ice cream store, then the bicycle trail, then the soccer field. Oh, Franklin sighed. Choosing the best thing about his neighborhood was not going to be easy. Franklin went to find his mother. Could I have that snack now, please, he, he asked. I think my brain is hung, hungry. But after three fly cookies and two glasses of milk, Franklin still hadn't decided what he liked best. Why don't you go for a walk around the neighborhood, asked his mother, suggested his, his mother. That might help, said Franklin. He got his paper and crayons and off he went. Franklin met Beaver in the meadow. I finished my project, Beaver announced. I picked the library. I went there right after school to draw my picture. Franklin thought about story time with Mrs. Goose, the librarian. That's a good idea, Franklin said. Maybe that's what I'll draw. He waved goodbye and headed for the library. Franklin was sitting on the library steps when Fox came by. Have you, have you, have you finished your project, asked, asked, asked Fox. Franklin shook his head. I was gonna draw the library, but on but on my way here, I saw the movie theater. I can't make up my mind. I chose the fire station, said Fox. Franklin remembered the time Chief Wolf let him sit in the fire truck. That's a good idea, Franklin said. Maybe that's what I'll draw. He collected his paper and crayons and set off. Franklin was outside the fire station when he saw Moose. Have you finished your project, asked Moose. No, Franklin sighed. I was gonna draw the fire station, but on my way here, I saw other places I liked just as much. I like the pond best of all, said Moose. Franklin thought about swimming and skating with his friends. That's a good idea, Franklin answered. Maybe that's what I'll draw. He said goodbye and headed for the pond. Franklin was staring at the water when Bear came along. What's the matter, asked Bear. I can't decide what to draw for my project, said Franklin. I like too many things. My best place is the berry patch, said Bear. Franklin thought about all the times he and Bear had picked berries together. See, said Franklin, another great idea. What about the park, suggested Bear. Franklin thought about playing with his friends on the swings and slide. That's it, declared Franklin. He said goodbye to Bear and hurried off. Franklin's mother found him sitting alone on the teeter-totter. Did the walk help, she asked. Not really, replied Franklin. There's so many great things in our neighborhood. Franklin's mother gave him a hug. Let's go home and talk. I made your favorite supper. Franklin grinned. At least I know what that is. Franklin felt a little better after broccoli soup and fly pie. I'm ready to think again, he said. Then he asked his parents what they liked best about the neighborhood. I like the farmer's market on Saturday mornings, said his mother. Franklin smiled. He loved farmer rabbits, sweet peas, and farmer squirrels, fly brownies. And I like belonging to my chess club, said his father. Franklin agreed. He liked belonging to the chess club, too. Then Franklin remembered something. Is it true that Mr. Heron is moving? He asked. Mr. Heron was the president of the chess club. Yes, it's true, replied Franklin's father. I'm going to miss him very much. This neighborhood won't be the same without him. Franklin nodded. He was going to miss Mr. Heron too. Suddenly, Franklin knew what he wanted to draw. I know what I like best, he said. Franklin ran to his room and started working. At school the next day, everyone was excited. It was time to see the projects. Raccoon went first. I drew the river, he said. I drew the forest, said Hawk. Finally, it was Franklin's turn. He unrolled a huge sheet of paper. 
It was covered with drawings of almost everyone that Franklin knew. I don't get it, said Beaver. Franklin smiled. I drew my neighbors, he said. That's what I like best about my neighborhood. The end.